Hello children, you are welcome to our lesson about festivals. We are going to continue from Damba festival. So the next traditional festival we're going to talk about is Kente festival. Kente festival is usually celebrated by the people of Bengui and it shows the uniqueness of the Kente cloth that we have been wearing in Ghana. Take a look at the picture. It shows some women displaying some kente clothes at the double grounds during the festival. It is very, very unique. I, I hope some of you have kente shirts and kente trousers at home. Don't you? Yeah, you have. Let's look at the second picture. It shows the chief and people of Bowie at the double grounds. The next festival is the Toto Festival. It is a festival which is celebrated by the chiefs and people of Anlo in the Volta region of Ghana. The festival is celebrated annually on the first Saturday in the month of November, that is the 11th month of the year. The name of the festival is derived, that is, it was taken from the other language and it is translated as the festival of Exodus. Exodus means coming out from a place, Hobbe, which is also called Nochi. The celebration of the festival was instituted about four decades ago. Let's look at this picture which shows of the Chocho Festival. It shows some women dancing at Baja at of the Chocho Festival. You know what an Agbaja is. I think some of you have seen people watching uh, dancing at Baja on the television before. The next one comes Ujra Festival. Ujra Festival is celebrated by the people of Ekwapon, Ekwapon. Aburi, Lake, and Manfi, all these towns that have been mentioned are found in the eastern region of Ghana. It is celebrated annually in the month of September, that's the ninth month. The festival celebrates a historic victory over the Ashantis in 1826. You know, the Ashantis fought with the Aquapins and the Aquapins overcame them or they conquered them in 1826. So, Every year they celebrate that festival. Look at the picture. It shows an elderly person of Ekwapim Akropon surrounded by other elders and he is offering a libation just before the festival. Libation means to pour some wine on the ground. That is what he is doing. This picture also shows the chief of Ekwapim sitting in state and he's delivering his welcome address. At the beginning of the festival, the chief sits in state and delivers his welcome address. Another picture shows a very, very colorful culture at the Daba grounds during the Ujra festival. Just take a look at that. Thank you very much. This is the end of the lesson. Thank you once again. May God bless you. Thank you.